What is going on? Welcome back to another episode of The Real and Raw Show. I actually recorded about 70% of this episode, and then my internet went out on me. So here we go, round two. But today, I want to talk to you guys about a question I get often. Um, and that question is not just from my clients, but from a lot of people in the real estate market, which is, John, what do you predict 2024 will look like for the real estate industry? And so today, I'm going to give you my thoughts after knowing, uh, obviously, what we went through in the last few years with the ups and the downs of real estate um, and knowing what we have coming up ahead of us in the United States of America, as far as the election year, what do I think 2024 will bring? Now, in this episode, I also want you to know that it's not just about what my thoughts are, but it's about what you can do to go ahead and take advantage of what I think is going to happen. So we are in January right now, and let's rewind to what it looked like the past few years, right? So we had a time where interest rates were extremely low and everybody and her mother were buying, right? And homes were, were flying off the shelves in less than 12 hours. And they were getting 40, 50, $60,000 over asking. Then we went to this weird time where everybody thought, man, the market is going to crash because interest rates started to rise. It didn't crash, but in many areas, it did slow down for a lot of people, not all, but it did slow down for, for, for many people in the real estate industry. And when interest rates were at an eight or a nine, it was hard for people to, A, want to sell because they have nowhere to go. And when they go and they sell and they buy another home, for them to sell their home and it's at a three and a half, four and a half percent, to get another home at a nine percent or an eight percent, it's hard for them to comprehend that. Right. And then obviously the buyers that are coming into the market, they don't want to spend uh, you know, the amount of money it's it it'll be to buy a four hundred, five hundred, six hundred thousand dollar property at a seven, eight, nine percent interest rate. And so we had definitely this uh this decrease in home sales. I think actually in the last five months of 2023, every month was a decline, was a decline. Now I'm grateful enough to have a lot of our clients not fall into that trap. But overall, in the real estate industry, yes, 100%, the, uh, the home sales have dropped, inventory is low. Those that are on the market have a much higher days on market than obviously we did. But I think it's all skewed, right? Because of what we went through uh, were the low, low interest rates. So bringing us to today, in January 2024, what I predict will happen is that we are going to have a phenomenal, phenomenal opportunity ahead of us until... September. I predict the real estate market in 2024 from now until September will be extremely, extremely good for you. And then once September happens, we have something called the election. And that election is going to be driving campaigns on the internet, on news, on your commercials that you're watching, all over social media platforms, driving their campaigns, saying why you shouldn't choose this person to be president or why you should choose them. But in the end, they are going to have a fear-driven message. And when a human brain feels fear, it freezes or runs away. And starting in September, those ads, those campaigns are going to be popping up more and more and more since we have election in November. So because of that, I think now until September is a great opportunity for you to double down, triple down, go all in. Because starting in September, I think we're going to see things slow down again. I think that from now until September, what we're also going to see is we're going to see interest rates start to drop. And the reason why is because there is a party that is running our United States of America right now that wants to make it look like everything is fine. That economy is coming back. Gas prices are getting lowered. Interest rates are dropping. People are buying houses. All these things are great, but it's just smoke and mirrors to make you feel good so that when the election comes, you remember what just happened, not what happened two years previously, right? And so the human brain is going to be like, oh, no, things are looking good, man. Interest rates are down. This is looking good. Economy's back. Gas prices are down. This will infiltrate your thinking and cause you to think differently when electing the next president. But whether you vote for this side, that side, neither side, just know that you, the real estate agent right now, has the best opportunity to make the most amount of sales from now until September because once September comes, we will see a freeze in the market. 
Now, will it be a complete freeze? No, people still need to buy. People still need to sell. But we are definitely going to see great opportunity over the next few months. So what are you going to do about it? What are you going to do about it? Are you going to go ahead and be more intentional? Uh, are you going to go ahead and make more dials? Are you going to go ahead and invest in yourself in leads or um, in marketing or in a coach? What are you going to do about it? If you don't maximize and squeeze all the juice out of this orange right now, when it comes to September, October, and that orange is dried up and you're trying to squeeze it out and nothing's coming out, you've wasted the opportunity for the last seven, eight months. So it's time to buckle up all gas, no brakes mentality and get after it and go get what is yours. You got to work a little more, do it. You got to put more effort in, do it. You got to do the things you don't want to do when you know you need to do it, do it. It's a great opportunity. Get out of the old pattern that maybe 2023 brought you into. Get out of the negative thinking. Get out of the things that are stopping you from taking the action and go all in. Play to win. Play to win. So coming in September and October, when it slows down, you did everything you can do to go ahead and dominate, to go ahead and win. You left it all out there. You emptied the bucket. You went ahead and did everything you could to maximize your opportunity. Or you could go ahead in September and October come around and realize, man, I wasted a lot of time. I complained. I didn't commit. I was just interested. Right, because you're either committing, right, 100%, or you're just interested. Pick and choose. Right, you're either going to go for the gold, right, or you're not. And so just take this opportunity next couple months and go after it. Make more dials. Connect with more people. Follow up better. Get your systems and processes in place. So that you can go ahead and make the most amount of money, put the most amount of effort in, from now until September, just in case I am right and things do slow down, you've at least created a massive success in, those, in the first nine months of 2024. That could maybe make up for a few slow months. Okay? A few other things that you could do. So there's a, uh, a podcast I listen to called, um, I think it's, it's a money podcast with Dan Fleischman. So I'm a part of this thing called the Elevator Syndicate, where we go ahead and we basically have opportunities to invest in different companies, invest in different brands. Um, and so he's one of the, the main people that brings these opportunities to us and network of people. Then we decide if we want to invest or not. He has this podcast called uh, the Money Monday podcast. I think that's what it's called. And he talks about having this extra cash, right? Extra cash, obviously, just in case something happens, but also extra cash in case there's a great opportunity. And anybody that's listening to this right now, I know a lot of us are like, all right, man, how do I, how do I take my money and make my money make money? Uh, and maybe real estate isn't it right this second because you're waiting for rates to drop. And then you can go get real estate. That's fine. Here's what I want you to do. I want you guys to look at something. I want you guys to go look at a high yield savings account. A high yield savings account. Now, this isn't going to make you rich overnight, but what's going to happen is there are different savings accounts that will bring you anywhere from three to 5.5% of interest to your money. If you have your money right now sitting in a bank, it is probably 0.0000001% interest you're getting. It's not making money. You're probably losing money, right? Because obviously the, the value of the dollar is going down. So what you're going to do is you're going to take whatever you don't need to live off of, right? Have a little bit of a, of, a, of a nest egg, but not a lot. A little bit of nest egg in your regular checking or savings. But then take everything else you got that's just sitting there, right? That 5K, 20K, 100K, 300K, that's sitting there. And I want you just to go look at some high yield savings account. We use um, CIT Bank. Um, and the reason why we use that is because the amount of money that we have put in, there's a higher interest rate. So the way theirs works is that the more money you put in, the higher interest rate you get. Um, so that obviously we're making more on our money. Now, the other bonus with that is that I could take it whenever I want. Usually need about 24 hours to get the money, get the funds in the bank, but without a penalty. Right. So there's no penalty to take it out. Some of these high yield banks you have to look at because there's a penalty or there's a uh 
you know, a seven day to 10 day window. Um, once you ask for the money, they have to you know, seven or 10 days to give it to you. But CIT bank actually just goes ahead and, and does it right away within 24 hours. Now, the only thing you do have to pay is you do have to pay tax on the interest, right? So whatever interest you make, you'll just pay tax on it. But if you get a $20,000 commission check, I want you to take whatever you need, obviously, to pay off the bills, put into your bank, do that. Take your 5K, whatever, 6K, 8K, whatever it might be. Then don't put the rest in the savings. Move all that $12,000 that's left, whatever it might be, right into a high yield savings account and make 5% of that 12K. Right? And then rinse and repeat. And rinse and repeat. And so I have a, 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 one of our properties that we have actually somebody pay for it in full, right, for the year. So they're, they're renting it. They're going to buy here in August, just fixing some credit stuff. Um, they're going to pay for it. For, so they paid for it in full. So I took that 25K, which was the year in full, and I put it right into a 5.25% high yield savings account with CIT. Now, I'm not affiliated with them. It's just what I use. And so, boom, right away, I was able to pull that, right? Got my interest on it after 30 days. Now I just made 5.25% on my 25K. Right. And I will continue to do those things. If I go ahead and I get a $20,000 check, I'll take my 6K, whatever for the month that I need. Then I'll move the rest right over there. So we're making money on our money. As I said, it's not going to be a huge return. Now you could throw your stuff into the, the, uh, the stock market, right? We have money in the, in the stock market. Here's a few things in the stock market. One is you just don't know. Right. You don't know. I do advise if you are looking at the stock market, look at something that's going to be a 15 to 30 year window of like, okay, how have they done in the last 10, 15, 30 years, not the last two years. That's what I would do if you want something that's a little more conservative. Um, but you also don't know. You can get a 12% interest back on that, right? Or you can get 8% or 2% or you can lose more. So if you want something a little more safer, but like you, you could pull out whenever a high yield is it. Because also if you go, you have two options, right? You could put that money into a stock and either have taxes taken out right at the at the very beginning of it or when you pull it out you could have taxes taken out one of the two uh, but for me it's easier to maneuver my money at a 5.25 guaranteed percent uh, interest rate and i can move it whenever i want then put it in something that i might make eight percent but it's going to be a hassle getting it out taxes all those things so I, I i i want you guys to know yes it's about making more money in the next nine months but also take that money and make money on that Right. So you go ahead and you get your closing. Once again, I figure out what your ratio is 20% to live off of, 10% to give back. The rest goes right into your high yield savings account. Right. So you're 20, 10, 70. 20% to live off of, 10% uh, giving back, 70% into a high yield savings account, or whatever your uh, ratio needs to be. Maybe different for you, and maybe more on the the giving side or more on the uh, saving side. Whatever it is, just find out that ratio, then stick to that ratio as much as possible for the year. So then you create some predictability, right? Then you create some predictability on on if this is right, um, or maybe if you need to to change it up a little bit. But that's what I want you to do. So when people ask me, John, what does twenty twenty four look like in a real estate market? My prediction is that we are gonna see lower interest rates. We're gonna see more buyers coming to the market for the next nine months, from now until September. Because the interest rates are gonna drop. There's a party that is running our United States of America right now that wants everybody to feel good, make like things are working out right, make everybody believe that there are things that are working in their favor. And it's just all smoke and mirrors because starting in September, there will be a ton ton of campaigns driven to you that is going to be fear driven. Pick this president, pick that president. Don't pick this one because of that one. Don't pick this one because of that one. So for the next nine months, we have a great opportunity because they're going to be trying to save face and lower interest rates. More buyers are going to want to buy because they've been sitting on the sidelines for the last year and a half. And so now is the best time for you to double down, triple down, all gas, no breaks, because starting in September, when the campaign start for our elections this year, it is going to slow down tremendously. So take advantage of what you have in front of you right now and what's to come over the next few months and lock it in and then take that money and invest that money into something that is going to bring you dividends, right? Whether it's a high yield savings account, it's a stock market, whatever it might be, 
Put your money to work. Don't let it just sit in the bank. So take the next eight to nine months, go all in, double down, take that money, create the ratio that makes sense for you, whatever it is you need to live off of, whatever it is you need to give back, and then whatever you need to go ahead and put into savings to create income off of that. And then have that money sitting there so when there's an opportunity that is sitting there waiting for you, it's a real estate deal, um, it's a business deal, you have the funds sitting there and it's been creating income because it's sitting in a high yield interest savings account. And now you're able to pull the trigger on something to become financially, uh, financially, I wouldn't even say stable, but to come a little bit more wealthy, right? For you and your family or create some, um, maybe some opportunity for you and your family. All right. So that's what I want you guys to do. I want you guys over the next few months, double down, go all in and go for it. Take that money and move it to a certain bank account that brings you some money or somewhere, not just in your bank account and go ahead and have that money on reserves, ready to pull the trigger, right? So that's what you guys are going to do this year. Go dominate. Make sure whatever you do, the money you make this year, put it into something that is going to bring you dividends, bring you interest. A high yield savings account, like I said before, is a great opportunity. 3% to 5.5%. Then have that money sitting there and waiting for when there's an opportunity to buy real estate, to invest in another business. You have the opportunity. You have the reserves. You have the capital. You can go ahead and invest in that. And while that is sitting there, you're also making some money on it. So you're going ahead and having even more capital, more reserves to go ahead and put towards that next investment property. So hopefully this helps you with understanding what I feel like 2024 will look like. Now it's time to get to work. Now it's time to get to work. Let's put in the effort because that is what we can control and go get what is ours. If you need me, please reach out to me. Hit me up on Instagram at real John Marone. If you want more advice like this and kind of what I think you should be doing in a real estate business, right? In your specific real estate business, reach out to me and we'll book a one-on-one -on -one call. I'll give you my feedback and what I think that you should be doing to maximize the next several months here. And then we'll see if we're a good fit to work with each other. So you can go ahead and just go to gorealestatemastery.com, right? www.gorealestatemastery.com. Or go into Instagram at Real John Marone, slide in my DMs, let me know about your business, and let's jam. As always, guys, especially this year, especially in the next several months, don't wait for the door of opportunity to open. Go kick that damn door down and take what is yours.